Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss the term delta time. We will go over what is it and how is it useful. So let's start simple. What does the term delta mean? Well it means the change in something, anything. It can be the change in position, it can be the change in speed, it can be even the change in time. But how is it done mathematically? how to measure it well the delta of something is equal to the final state minus the beginning state so let's have an example say you were at point a and you moved over to point b well your delta position in this case will be equal to the final position which is point b minus the beginning position which is point a so now we know that the delta time is equal to the final state of the time minus the beginning state of the time. Simply the delta time is the change in time. Well I still don't get it. Change in time between what? Let's find out. You measure whatever goes around you in seconds, minutes, hours, etc. You get the idea. Well, computers measure things differently. They use what is called frames. The frames are the update ticks in each second. Well, you can think of them like milliseconds, but they're not. So now we know that the delta time is the change in time between each frame and the previous one. We started the game, imagine that we started the game at time 0 and the next frame the time is 1. Well your delta time is 1 second in this case. Well why is it useful? You cannot rely on frames to measure anything because the frames are not consistent. If you are a gamer you might recognize this, FPS. Well, it refers to frames per second. So, let's have an example. Say that your character is running by speed of 1 meter per frame. If your game is running on a high PC on, say, 60 frames per second, your speed will be 60 meters per second, which is faster than the fastest man on Earth. His speed is 10.42 meters per second. Now let's imagine that the game is running on another PC, a low one, on say 10 FPS. The speed will be 10 meters per second, which is not fair at all. So you want your character's speed to be consistent over all the devices that run your game or application. So use seconds to measure things instead of frames. How you should distribute the amount of speed you want to move in a second on the number of frames you have in that second. This will give you the amount of meters to move in each frame. Well how? <laughs> well you can divide by the frame rate or the FPS or you can multiply by delta time. Well. Is these two operations are equivalent to each other? Well, the answer is yes. So let's prove it by an example. Imagine that our current frame rate is 4 frames per second. If you divide 1 by 4, it will give you 0.25 seconds, which is our delta time, the time since the last frame. Now this part is, of, is for your mind, if you have 4 frames in each second, well how much time between each frame and the previous one? Well the answer is quarter second, which is our delta time. So now, to recap, 
The delta time is the time since the last frame. We should use delta time when we need to move or animate something over time but still be consistent over many devices with various FPS. We programmers refer to this by making it frame rate independent. If you divide by the frame rate, it is the exact same thing as multiplying by delta time. So, congratulations, we reached the end of our video. If you have any questions, type them down in the comments and I will do my best answering them. You can hit that like button and thanks for watching and goodbye.